All right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. How are y'all doing on tonight? This is the second night of the come up. Let us know, hallelujah, if the sound is sounding good out there on y'all end. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Just making sure the sound and everything is clear, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on in. Hope y'all had an amazing day on today. Making sure it's public. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is our second night of the Come Up Empowerment conference will come up prophetic empowerment conference i will be your host thank you so much yes i will be your host hallelujah tonight we will definitely be praying up on tonight so we're gonna go right in and we're gonna go into prayer we're gonna thank god for just allowing y'all to be able to make it tonight so all hearts and minds cleared as we go before the Lord in prayer. So, oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, God, for watching us and allow us to meet again. We thank you for this 9 o'clock hour, God. We thank you for the musicians that's in place. We thank you for the speaker that's in place. We thank you for the prayer warriors that's in place. We thank you for everyone that is in place in anticipation on the word um, for tonight. I ask that every spirit be settled, God, and I even take my time to rest and allow you to rest on us and rest in this place, God. We don't want to quench your spirit. We want, don't want to rush you. We ask that you have your way. We ask that you take your time to allow what needs to be worked out of us, worked out, allow to what needs to be worked in us, be worked in, allow that you work on what needs to be worked on. And we just want to give you glory, honor, and praise God. We thank you for being the Lord of our life. We thank you for allowing us to let our light shine before men, even in dark places, God. We ask that you forgive us for anything that we've done, said, um, um, that was not pleasing in your sight. We knew it or we didn't know it, Lord. We thank you right now for just giving us the opportunity to worship you in a non-traditional way, God. We thank you for building our relationships with you in this time, in this season of our life, God, not just trying to be religious and do things that we um, think you want us to do, but do the things the way that you want them to do. And you've been a God of relationship from the beginning. So we just want to thank you for allowing us the opportunity to commune with you, God. We thank you for the opportunity um, to allow us to fellowship with you, God. And we thank you for opportunity to grow in you and be intentional about the time that we even spend with you, Lord. So we want to give you glory, honor, and praise as we begin to lift your name up and give you praise on tonight. We will um we ask that you just bless the sound waves, even on tonight that this word go forth like you desire for it to do, Lord God. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Next, we will be going to into praise and worship you all so as you um sit make sure that you join in intentionally as we begin to bless the lord come on let's give god some praise on tonight we continue to worship him tonight this is our second night of worship this is our second night of praise this is our second night of the come up conference and we just continue to give him the honor, the glory, and the praise for the many blessings he stores upon us. Come on, let's lift up your voice and worship him. We ask you just to give him praise. We ask you to give him glory. We ask you to shout and give God praise because he's done so much for in our lives. He's done so much in our, our family. He's done so much in our community, our churches. And we just want to give God the honor, the glory, and the praise. 
We could have been dead and gone. We could have been sick. We could have been in the hospital. We could have been in nursing homes. But we just give God praise. We give him honor. And we give him glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. I pray for you, you pray for me, I love you, I need you to survive, I won't harm you with words from my mouth, I love you, I need you to survive, I pray for you, you pray for me. I love you, I need you to Thank you. 
Hallelujah. 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 Prayer will fix it. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for leading us in praise and worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer will fix it every time. Hallelujah. Do y'all not know that prayer will fix it? Prayer will fix it. He said prayer will fix it every time. Um, hallelujah. So what is the moment everybody's been waiting on? The word. The word. The word. The word. The word. Hallelujah. Because we know everything going down but the word of God. God. Hallelujah. So we have um the woman of God coming forth. Minister Tamika Hill tonight. This is an amazing woman of God. I'm pleased to announce her to come before for you all tonight. She has been prayed up. I met her uh, through prayer. I met her uh, in the house of God and events that's always geared towards kingdom. So I'm pleased to announce and I cannot wait to hear what the Lord has spoke to her to release to us on tonight about being prayed up. Thank you, Lord. Mm. <laughs> hey, Lord God. How you doing, woman of God? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm ready to give what God Hallelujah. got for them. I'm ready. Amen. Well, the floor is yours. Let the Lord use you, woman of God. You look beautiful. You look real angelic <laughs> over there. So I know that the Lord has been speaking to me. So let yes. him use you. Don't hold back nothing. Okay. Good, ask, good evening, everyone. I, I've i been knowing Tiffany for almost a year. <laughs> this is the second time that came around about the prayed up. She wanted me to say it one time before, but I let fear, and God isn't about fear. I let fear get in the way with me. So tonight, I decided to go ahead and do it. So um, a lot of people really don't know how what it is to take, to stay prayed up. And I'm going to say this, I was one of those people. I just knew, let me say a little quick prayer, and that's it. I didn't know what to ask God for. So tonight, um, somebody might need to hear this. Um, what it takes to be stay prayed up. It, I mean, you pray anytime. It's no type of form or way to pray. Just give it to God. And God is not going, he's not only just going to listen, he's going to be waiting to hear from you. That's all you got to do. You just got to stay prayed up, you know, and it's a fresh breath of air once you pray and give it to God. Um, our prayers of confession, one, we confess all our sins to him. He hear every confession that we have. And also our prayer is a relief. We're relieving, he relieving uh, fear off us, variation, pain that we may be going through. We give it to him. And everything is gone. And our prayer is protection from the enemy. We ask God to keep us covered all the time. Keep your family covered. Keep your children covered. Keep your neighbor covered. You have to ask him all the time to keep your family covered. And guess what? He will protect your family. And prayer is a message. It ain't nothing but a message. Sometimes we get confirmation through a prayer. You know, and a lot of people get delivered through a prayer, saved, you know. So, therefore, we need to know what to pray for and give it to God. Because guess what? Like he said in Jeremiah 29, 12, then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you and trust. He will listen to you. And you ain't got to go back and say the same thing over because once you put that one prayer to him, leave it in him. And that's when he's going to test your belief, your faith and your believing in him. So when we go back and repeat it and say the same thing, it's like you don't have faith in him because you gave it to him one time. And that's all you need to do is give it to him one time. And guess what? He'll take everything away. Everything that you asked him to cover, everything you asked him to take away, pain, you know, he would take it all away. And he will bind up 
You know, he would do all the above, what you ask him to do. But one thing I'm going to say this um, before I get into what I'm going to talk about tonight is that since this COVID-19, um, I don't understand. It's been said in the word about what was going to go on, this revelation, this like, it, you know, the end of the days. I mean, it's in the Bible. And all God is doing is asking us. He, he, he gave it to us. He's saying, this is what's going to happen. And this is what it's going to, what's going to happen. But what we need to do is stand fast and turn around with the ways and pray to him. Because guess what? COVID-19 could be gone. Me, I'm not scared of COVID-19. I don't have fear in my heart about it because I'm covered under the blood. So therefore, everybody need to get on one accord and start praying to God about this planet, you know, the storm that we're going through. Because you see, he stopped everything. He didn't stop it, but he didn't intervene. Everything stopped school. Everything was shut down. It was shut down for a reason. Because guess what? He's waiting on us. He's waiting on us. God is waiting on us to get and start worrying about what we got going on, get on our knees and pray to him. And once, once everybody come on one accord, you're going to see how God make it all plain. You're going to see how it just going to flow. You're going to be like, what? It's going to be so amazing. So what I'm going to go and get into tonight is um, about the story of Hannah. How Hannah wanted to bear a child. And how her husband, you know, she was, you know, had an, he had another wife, but she had children. But Hannah didn't have none. I mean, her husband prayed. He went and gave the other wife a portion and gave her a double portion. But what Hannah was doing was she was going off her husband's faith and belief. You know, she was going to the um to the church just to pray because he was going. Really, in reality, she was mad. She was hurt. She was broken. And it's like she didn't really understand what she was doing. Like, she was really not, you know, letting God proceed to what he got planned for her. So what Hannah did was she she was so hurt and broken and what she started doing was praying to God and asking God she wanted to bear a child. She wanted a child. And what she did was she prayed to him and she gave it all to him and he listened to her, you know, and everything and what and what started happening by her praying and having faith and having and praying through the spirit, he bare her a child. And what she did say, she when she once she had that child, she was gonna give it to him. And she did as she said, because guess what? He had faith and belief that she was gonna do it. So that's why he intervened and letting her bear that child. And she just didn't bear one child, she bare plenty more children. And see, with us, when we do right with God and follow and pray to him and go to him, everything works out. But when we want to do everything on our own, it never works. When we thinking it's working, it really ain't working because guess what? God ain't in the midst of it. It's our own doing. So what I'm here to tell you tonight is that we have to stand fast and pray to God. Give him everything that you need, everything that you ask him God for, you need to give it to him and go faithful to him. And you got to have be persistent and you're praying, and you have to be in the spirit when you're praying. Because he knows. He knows who's for real and who's not. Trust me, he knows. Because I've been there. So, Hannah went through a lot to get where she was. And what 
God did was, you know, through her, um, he, he helped in every situation. In her brokenness and pain, she trusted God. She was humble, she was broken, and knew only way to find the relief was through God alone. She, that's what she knew. She knew that. So she also, she believed God would do what he said do. That's, so that's why her faith and belief was getting stronger day by day. She was so faithful. So even when the other wife would pick on her or say this and that, da 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 da, she will be humble and wouldn't say nothing to be obedient to the Lord. So what, that's why I'm telling you, it's good to stay prayed up. Stay prayed up all the time. Even when someone want to come at you and fuss with you, say negative stuff, turn the cheek and start praying. Because that's what I do. I pray. I pray. And guess what? I can't let nobody steal my joy. So to keep your joy and your peace, you have to stay prayed up. You have to. Because I'm going to tell you, if you don't, you're going to be miserable. You'll be miserable. You'll let the enemy win all the time. But I can't allow the enemy to win. And I know you don't want to allow the enemy to win. So you need to stay prayed up. You need to stay prayed up. And I want to thank Tiffany for allowing me to speak tonight. This is my first time. And I really enjoy speaking and letting people know about prayed up and what it is. So I just woman of God. Blessings, 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 woman of God. Hallelujah. I'm glad that you came forth on tonight. I pray that the sound is not distorted, but I, I, I what I, I love is that you let fear know. I'm glad you let fear know. Who's in charge? Hallelujah. Because God is in charge. Yeah. We should not run from what it is we're called to do. We're going to walk in what we're called to do. And on tonight, right. um, just some, reiterating some of the things that you said, God helped Hannah even in her brokenness for those that may be just coming yeah. in. And that's what we got to be humble enough to allow God to help us. We need his help in a broken place. And even when he began to restore us and heal us, we still should want God help along the way. Mm. Hallelujah. Hannah believed yeah. God, and that is what gave her the strength to increase yeah. her faith from faith to faith and from glory That's to glory. Right. Because right. there's no way that you can be a strong woman. I don't care if you're black, white, or green, purple, or blue. Hallelujah. Exactly. We need the Lord's help. And in prayer, there's strength. We in 2020 20, and, and contrary to popular demand, God is still good and prayer right. still work. Faith is the yes. key that unlocks that door. But if you really want to mm. begin to come up and do the things that God has called you to do, surrender all unto God. Hallelujah. By being able to not be a before men. Hallelujah. He said, if you be ashamed Amen. of me, I'm going to be ashamed of you. But Jesus Amen. came, hallelujah, to present hallelujah. us, hallelujah, unto the Father. So we thank God for Jesus and his blood that was shed for us so that way we can have a faith, a place that we can tap in to have access to give us right. dominion and power that we need to be able to put the things under our feet that need to be under our feet. Right. Hallelujah. And through prayer, you can I'm, I thank God for you, woman of God. Hallelujah. I'm grateful. Right. I know that you're a praying woman of God and I pray that God continues to increase you even the more, That's even right. in your prayer life, if you have a sensitivity for the need of the people. Hallelujah. That's and the right. mission that he's given you and the mission that he's given your husband. I speak nothing but but life and breathe fresh breath, fresh wind, new connections, even over God. And in this season, season. For, the, for the lives that y'all will be touching through y'all ministries. Hallelujah. I thank God Glory, for you. Hallelujah. 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 
Um, do you have any remarks um, as I shift you out, woman of God? I just want to say everybody needs to get into the divine order and start praying because if we was all praying, we won't be going through this right now. We wouldn't. <laughs> It'll be a different. We'll see the difference. Amen. All the stuff that's going on in life. Yeah. That's all. And hallelujah. Thank you. And one thing the woman of God said, what I love is if we get in order, divine order, and on one accord. See, sometimes we like to wait to the last minute to try to get on one accord. But now is the time to be on one accord with what the Spirit of the Lord is telling us to do. And as we understand, we're one body, many numbers. We're going to allow Minister Phoenicia to come on in and render um, and render us the selection. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at us sleep. Glory to yes. God. Hallelujah. So as we reflect on Hallelujah. the word that has gone forth and we think of prayer, prayer is a tool that we can use as access to the Father. So whatever we deal with, we, whatever we battle with, whatever our desire is, we have direct access. And it's through prayer that healing happens. It's through prayer that restoration happens. It's through prayer. And a lot of times we become stuck. We become stuck and because of we don't know how to release a prayer. We believe that there is a specific prayer language. But how many of you guys know that God is a universal God? So I want to challenge you to pray. And however you pray, as you grow in your prayer posture, as you begin to grow in your prayer, he'll change the posture. You'll help by changing the posture as you desire him more. So I wanted to encourage you guys and, and help you to understand that in prayer, there's healing. And the song simply says, God wants to heal you everywhere you heard, everywhere you heard, God will see you through. He'll take all pain away. God wants to heal you. Everywhere you hurt, everywhere you hurt, God, I need you. Yes, Lord, we need you right away. God will provide for you each and every day. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, I need you. I need you right away. So if you need something from him, if you haven't spoken with to him in a while, I dare you to just type something right there on the bottom. Hallelujah. The prayer lines are open as well. So however you need to be ministered to, whatever you need to release, this is your moment to do that. Because God wants to heal you everywhere you heard, even the thing you've been carrying for years. Everywhere you heard, God will see you through. He'll take all pain away. God wants to heal you. Everywhere you heard, everywhere you heard. God will see you through. He'll take our pain away. I'm a witness. He will provide for you each and every day. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, I need you. It's a 911. I need you right away. And we say thank you. And we say thank you. 
And we say thank you. It's already done. It's already done. I'll put my faith on it for it's already done. Yes, Lord. It's already done. God, we thank you right now. It's already done. Hallelujah. We shout hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. It's already done. Healing is here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Deliverance is here. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Power is here, Lord. Yes, Lord. The chain breaking God is in this room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And it is so. Hallelujah. It is so. Everywhere you hurt, everywhere you hurt, God is seeing you through right now. He's seeing you through. Hallelujah. He's taking the pain away. He's taking the pain away. Yes, Lord. He's taking the pain away. Hallelujah. He's taking the pain away even right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. If only you believe. Hallelujah. If only you believe. Hallelujah. We believe you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. And it is so. It is settled. Hallelujah. It is settled. And we say amen. Hallelujah. We say hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will worship you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. Everywhere you heard. Hallelujah. I know we're home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's okay to worship him. Hallelujah. Everywhere you hurt, he'll will see you through. He'll take all pain away. He'll take the pain away. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but he'll take all pain away. Hallelujah. And if I can be honest, I'm talking to myself. Hallelujah. He'll take every pain away. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Everywhere you heard. Everywhere you heard. Hallelujah. And we thank you for this new season. Hey, and we thank you for this new day. Hallelujah. And we thank you for a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Just that just bombarded our houses. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. We thank you for a new season. Hallelujah. We thank you for a new day. Hallelujah. And we thank you for a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. That is here to stay. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. So I can smile even in the going through. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. It's settled. It is so. Hallelujah. We win. God wins again. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. God, hallelujah. It is settled as the woman of God did. Declared, it is settled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is settled. It's just that. Hallelujah. Just like I said, Hallelujah. He holds up with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. It was settled. Hallelujah. He went down and fought each and every one of our behalf. Hallelujah. He went down. Hallelujah. To make sure that we could live. Hallelujah. He went down. Down to make sure that we could get up, hallelujah. When he got up with all power, he did it, hallelujah. Just for you and now, hallelujah. He did it, hallelujah. You're watching victory, hallelujah. You're looking at victory, hallelujah. So I thank God for the woman of God present on me on tonight, hallelujah. I thank thank God for an opportunity to come before you all on tonight. But you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, hallelujah. What you witnessing is what. Jesus can do what you witness is what God can do. Hallelujah. And through prayer, it is done. Hallelujah. He came down. Hallelujah. Died for you and I. He shed his blood. Hallelujah. On the cross at Calvary. He hung his head while they stretched. They beat him. They mocked. 
system, hallelujah. But on tonight, hallelujah. If you don't know about that precious man named Jesus, that man that died for you, hallelujah. The man that went down, hallelujah, and took the keys to death, hell, and the grave, hallelujah. And let the enemy know that death didn't have any sting, hallelujah. To let them know I'm coming to redeem my people, hallelujah, back to their rightful place. Back unto the fathers, hallelujah, place, hallelujah, that God wanted us to be, which was in communion with him. So if you want to begin to um, accept your rightful place, which is being in communion with God, hallelujah, to welcome Jesus as your Lord and Savior on tonight, do know that you're able to do that. You can, right where you are, lift your hands and just let them know that he's welcome. Let the Holy Spirit Know that it's welcome in your home. Like I know that you believe that he is. Hallelujah. So he can be. Hallelujah. Well, he needs to be in your life and you can do what he has called you to do in this season and in this time because we are living in the last evil days. Hallelujah. But through prayer, you can find joy. Hallelujah. Walking out what God has called you to do because the good news is that he died that you, you may live. Hallelujah. The good news is that we all needed a savior and the rest has already been paid, hallelujah, the price has been paid for you and I, hallelujah, so I just thank God for that, hallelujah, and if you've enjoyed the word on tonight, if you don't know um, Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like additional prayer, as you even welcome him in, hallelujah, your life on tonight, you can call in on the prayer line, and we do have our ministers that are available and ready to pray with you, hallelujah, we're not going to hold our long, hallelujah, but but if y'all have enjoyed the world tonight, definitely show some love to the speakers, to the ministers. Hallelujah. On tonight, I'm going to bring them in. in. Hallelujah. And wrap up. Hallelujah. Just so they can show their faces one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you. God is good. God is good. <clears throat> hey, people of God. We got the people on that, y'all. People, we appreciate them for Coming in tonight as we pressed on in through prayer, hallelujah. We're going to get our come up, hallelujah, one way or another. All right, y'all. Well, we enjoyed y'all. We appreciate you. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Um, for joining us tonight on this broadcast. I'm Tiffany. It was my pleasure to be able to um, host another night. Hallelujah. Look, let me add the woman of God in. You know, we we around here virtual, so we catching up. Got small delays, but it's all right. We ain't in a rush because the come up going to happen regardless. Thank you so much, Minister, for wrapping us up on tonight after the word, pressing on in. And we thank God for being a healer in your life. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Completing the work that he had to do in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, tomorrow night, you all meet us here again at the 9 o'clock hour. We will be waking up tomorrow uh, with Pastor Eddie Alexandra, way of Louisiana. We're super excited. So uh, all people is sleeping. Hallelujah. We about to wake up tomorrow. So we going higher and higher each night. Allow the word to uh, rest on you tonight. And if you didn't catch last night, hallelujah, with the dynamic speaker that activated us, catch that as well. Hallelujah. And stay tuned. More and more and more. We're going higher and higher each round. We'll be um, coming every night until September the 9th. Hallelujah. So keep us in prayer. We pray for you. And we're going to watch God change things in the name of Jesus. Blessings to you all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.